Doctors were not sure it would work, but they knew they had to try a risky treatment to save a baby's life. As News 13's Brittany Bade reports, the survival of that 13 month old may now help other babies battling COVID. I never thought my one year old would be in this position, ever in a million years. A COVID diagnosis right before Christmas, and 13 month old Mateo Baca's symptoms were only getting worse. All of a sudden, there was five doctors in the room. And I remember just looking at Mateo like, is this the last time I'm going to see your eyes open? Is this the last time that I'm going to hold you? Shanna Rose Martinez says Mateo's positive COVID test came as a shock. Their family is all vaccinated and they stayed away from large crowds. I possibly thought he had RSV. I never thought he would have had COVID. After days of a constant fever, exhaustion, and a worsening cough, Martinez took her baby to UNMH. He was quickly transferred to the pediatric intensive care unit. I remember him crying and him saying, Mama, Mama, and it was like the most heartbreaking thing I think I've ever had to like witness. UNMH doctors say Mateo needed help breathing and ultimately determined he needed the highest level of life support for babies experiencing heart and lung failure, which in short is called ECMO. I remember Dr. Broman coming in and she was like, it's time we put him on ECMO. And I remember telling her, I don't want to do this. And she was like, if we don't do it, he has a 50-50 chance of surviving. His chance of surviving without an ECMO was even worse. And those statistics were enough to convince Martinez. For the first time in New Mexico, doctors hooked a baby up to an ECMO machine to treat COVID. It acts as both an exterior heart and set of lungs both cleaning his blood and breathing for him. It was almost like his, his body was at rest. Everything was working for him. Like it was just, he finally had that chance to just like relax. Over the course of nine days, the ECMO helped Mateo's organs recover from COVID. It was what his body needed. Mateo got to go home right after Christmas and his successful ECMO treatment could help save more lives. And I'm just so thankful that we were the ones to do it because now he has the possibility of saving another child's life. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Tough kid. There is a Venmo account set up to help the family with Mateo's medical expenses. We have more information at krqe.com.